to everyone out there no lifers no life keepers good to see you all today so it is easter sunday and hopefully you remember the reason for easter and uh but with that being said there's still work to be done so what are you doing today bob well you know by this what that is i've got it strapped down to the truck so hey grayson so my problem is i've got uh i've got syrup and then i've got this much room here and on the sides i guess to put some nuke boxes 20 of them to be exact 20 nukes uh, um gonna it's about 3,000 pounds of syrup that's gonna be in this tote but i've got to also get 20 nukes 20 nukes in here full of bees and um 50 migratory covers in the back seat so we can't put bees in the back seat i guess you could if they're no chance of them at all uh getting out but it wouldn't be fun riding an hour and a half with bees flying around on the inside of the truck so going to get syrup uh this is actually in inverted syrup that i'm supposed to be getting from what i understand so it should last forever hopefully and uh you know i haven't even walked out to the bee yard yet let's turn around the camera and uh so there's maybe a room for a nuke there <laughs> as long as nothing shifts maybe for a room room for a nuke there and then somehow to get 20 nukes right there um will be interesting will be interesting for sure and uh Originally, I wasn't planning to get the syrup, so um, I have to have this spigot as close to the back as I can get it, And uh, but it's still kind of in between the wheel wells, but far back as I can get it so I can run my pipe off of it uh, to drain. So, there is an issue there. Hey, Denny, good to see you. And... Uh, and so that's what we're kind of looking at this morning. Just, uh, am I going to have enough room for 20 nukes right there? And, uh, because I can't put the tote and I can't put the bees on the inside. So, so it's always something, right? Beekeeping drama. That's what it always is. Hey, look, pretty flowers popped open. And, uh, pretty flowers on that side as well just coming to see if there's any uh bees in the trees i can see back here this morning not yet that i can see but i will share that with you no bees in the trees even the uh the big one that was way up there on the squirrel nest it it has moved on so it is it is gone so, um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see if that, uh, hive tries to do its, uh, that one up front there, see if it tries to, uh, do its thing today again. Usually, I mean, it's warm enough. Maybe they might've already done it this morning. Who knows? I'm a little late getting out this morning, but it's such a nice day. It's, uh, in the seventies here. The flowers are blooming. I've got my uh, some of my leaves off of my dirt up front uh, burning back here. No, I'm not going to walk out there this morning. I got too much to do. <laughs> too much going on. So we're uh, uh, going to go to Charlotte this afternoon and uh, pick up everything. At 35, it's a heat wave. And... Uh, 
just to show you, I know Tim and Hannah like to show some of their blooms, so I'll show you some of the ones I've got around here today. Uh, we got these pretty things, whatever they are. You guys probably know better than me. And those. We got all these little flowers here blooming, but I don't see any, not a bee on them. Well, there's a carpenter bee. I guess uh, carpenter bees like these bigger ones. They can get their big bodies in it. Um, some little, some little pink flowers. And then I weed eated through here yesterday, but there was a, see if I can show you some Carolina Jasmine. Obviously this actually is not my property. There's the property line, but, uh, there's, uh, wild berries in all these ditches down here. Uh, so that's good. I was trying to see if I saw some Carolina Jasmine nearby, but I don't see it at the moment. So, so that's good. Let's see. Danae wants me to get, get stung, so let me walk near, near the bees so old mean hive can get to it. Let's see. Hey, look, guys. My dirt. I blew off some of my dirt yesterday. Hey, look there. Look what I left out, guys. Left out a bottle of swarm lure yesterday. And they're checking it out. That's kind of interesting. Uh, and there's one already. Wanted to check me out. But, yeah. Just a beautiful day. So, at any rate, thought I would key y'all in that I'm going up to Charlotte and getting a tote of sugar and uh, a bunch of a bunch of bees and some lids so more money that's what it is I, uh, someone in the chat the other night was asking well how much does it take to be profitable it takes self-control which evidently I don't have <laughs> to, to keep stop from uh, buying I will say some of these uh, privet tree right there it's uh, actually probably better if I just flipped it around this Japanese privet is trying oh, here's a lower one they are trying when those pop open all them little flowers the bees will go crazy on here so and then we'll start getting mimosas that tree right there is a mimosa tree and it'll have a bunch of pink flowers on it eventually pink and white actually so at any rate guys i appreciate every one of you um you know thanks for watching and uh have a happy easter enjoy the time with your family remember the reason for easter and uh we'll see you guys on the next stream and i'll probably have one when i'm picking up stuff so talk to you guys later